Hello and welcome back to another full self-driving installment. Today I take FSD Beta 8.2 to San Francisco. In this video I test how the system does with city driving, a roundabout, a few speed bumps, and we will also see pedestrians and bicycles blocking our path mid-drive, as well as many other interesting congested city scenarios. The first part is mostly residential, but we will go downtown towards the end. So stay tuned, this is a good one. A lot more confident with these turns compared to the last update. This one's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that it consistently goes over speed bumps at 16 to 17 miles an hour. Another speed bump, it slows down, takes it. 16. I'm really curious how it's going to handle this roundabout. Okay, there's bicycles coming. Alright, I'm disengaging. There's bicycles here. Yeah, it kept on creeping forwards with the bicycles coming and they were giving us a funny look. Alright, I'm gonna re-engage now that we're in it. Doesn't allow me to. Try again. Still not letting me. And now it will let me. Nope, still won't let me. And there we go. So it didn't really hit the uh, roundabout as I would have wanted it to. Alright, now it's waiting our turn. There it goes. Because then I can actually get all the side pillars so we can show the bikes. Making this turn good. We're gonna have to make a quick left right after this. Let's see what lane it puts us in. No turn left onto Woodside. All right, it puts Avenue. us still in the left lane. You can turn from both lanes. It's hesitating a little it's bit. It's pausing. Uh, but I don't know why it was pausing. The intersection. Even though it was green, it wanted to pause and double take a double check. Alright, so right there, it tried to go into this car that's right here. It kind of actually went a little bit into our lane. Got way too close for comfort. Yeah, it was like a foot off. Again, it's taking these speeds a little too fast. Even though the speed limit says 35, it wants to be in the center of the lane, so it's not taking the apex for most of these lanes, and so it's going ending up out of the lane very wide and having to slow down often towards the end of a turn, which is very not what it should be doing. Beautiful view of the city, though. Yeah, right. It should be slowing down. It should be gauging how much of a bend it is ahead. Yeah, of right. They should slow down a little bit before the turns because it goes full speed into the turn, stays in the center of the lane, and then it can't quite hold the radius of the turn so it ends up going wide and like slowing down halfway through the corner and they through could, the curve and it exactly there's nothing dangerous about that in a sense that it doesn't need the lane but it's definitely a very uncomfortable feeling every time it happens very yeah, yeah. nice slowing for traffic here it's uh, actually going to try and go around these cars because uh, it shows that this is the slower lane. So let's see what happens. Oh, our lane started going, so it canceled the blinker and actually decided to stay in this lane. Pretty smart. Okay, 
Okay. So this car is blocking some of the lane, so let's see what happens. So I decided to just change lanes to go around. Even though it probably could have stayed in the same lane, it, it chose to go around. It's hunting a little bit for what line it wants to take. Yeah. But it's going at a comfortable speed. Oh wow, it really gets narrow here. Yeah. Nice little bridge that we came up upon. All right, so now I believe we, we are on one of the main strips of downtown San Francisco. So let's see how it handles these these roads. A lot of these roads, I will admit, are taxi only or bus only lanes, so or bike only, and they're all differentiated throughout the way. So we'll see how it does. Like so, just this red car is in a bike only lane. So I just try his blinker on. There's people on our line spot. Let's see what happens. It's accelerating to match the blue car behind us. And there it goes. Now it goes. Now turn left onto Sanchez Street. Okay. It did that pretty well, actually. Yeah, let's see what happens here. All right, so this is an unprotected left. So let's see what happens here. So it's being cautious and staying behind the line. Right now is when I would probably go. I'd go right now, but now it's creeping forward. Okay, I'm gonna have to push the gas. Okay, it's stopping. I'm gonna tell it to go. And now it's going. There it goes. I wonder when it would have gone if you never hit the gas. Yeah, I probably would have just sat there forever and waited until it turned red and then rise when it red, probably gone. I've yeah, seen that maybe. in other 8.2 videos online. Okay. But uh, yeah, I would have loved to see it wait, but it was just, un it was pr probably not the smartest and kind of dangerous if I just kept sitting there with all the other cars and interactions going on. Yeah, that was a busy intersection. Uh, I think this is a 15, so we're going 15 through here. It's waiting, it's turned the stop sign. Let's see what happens. Turn now. It doesn't want to go, so I'm gonna give it gas. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it things like looks like they need to work on when the car needs to go at stop signs. It always stops and waits for other things, but it usually waits for everyone to clear the intersection before it wants to go. I'm noticing instead of just knowing when we got there first. A lot of pedestrians here. It detects the biker going around us. I'm just gonna sit here and wait to see what happens. It's oh wait, there it goes. No, it's not gonna go. I'm giving it gas. I'm giving it gas. I'm giving it gas. I'm giving it. Okay, I let go. Let's see what happens. God. So there's pedestrians, everyone's just walking around. So many bikers. I'm just kind of stuck here in the middle of the intersection. And here we go. Now we're finally going through. See, so, you now if that was a person like me driving, I would have put myself first through a lot of those pedestrians and marked my territory, kept going because I had the right away. But uh, all these pedestrians and bikers decided just to go through. Okay, 
All right, I would go right now, but the car's not going. The car's not going. It's just waiting for, it's just allowing every single pedestrian or biker to cross its path before it wants to go, which I guess it's being very nice. But uh, sometimes you gotta just take your, your time, not take your time, I mean, and like take the advantage when you can. Yeah, when it decided to go, it was quick though. Yeah. It just went. Oh. It just when there's a lot of pedestrians and cyclists, it just waits for them all to clear out of the mm -hmm. way, even if they're not in the road yet. No, it's taking its time. There's pedestrians on our right, but it doesn't want to go. I'm gonna make gas, I'm giving it gas. Now it's going. So now we have a blind hill right here. Let's see how it does the turn. And it just goes for it. Wow, yeah, it really just went for that. And then it got us in the far left lane for our left-hand turn we're about to do at this next light. Wow, okay. Took a very interesting line on that turn, but it made it. Now turn left onto Oak Street. So it's treating this like it's a one way, but it's actually a two way. Unprotected left. Doing it pretty well. There's no traffic there though. Now we need to get in the far right lane here. Let's see how what Tesla does. It's still going forward because it doesn't find a spot for it to go into. Maybe right here is where I would go. But it's not lighting us. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna have to take control because I need to get over. And this is how you have to drive in San Francisco. I'm not kidding. Yeah, no, if you need to get, especially for this freeway entrance up there. You have to be very ballsy. Very backed up. Now once I get over again, I'm gonna now I have to be very ballsy here. Alright. Now I can activate it again. This is how you have to drive in San Francisco. Tesla needs to program that. No, no, no. Okay, so it tried to take us in that lane, way over here, but uh, we actually need to be over here and there's a divider in the middle. See, that's not even sending anything. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, because there's this divider, it tried to go on the right lane, but if we'd been on the right, we would've been stuck and that's an entirely different road. This is the way to get on the freeway. After today's test, it's clear 8.2 is a lot better than 8.1. However, it still needs improvement for heavy city driving. I'm excited to see what Tesla has in store in the next update after Elon's famous tweet about 8.3. So if you've gotten this far, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.